y'all, welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead Survival Instinct on Xbox 360. And, uh, sorry, I'm trying to move my keyboard over here so that we can start. Um, again, this, um, uh, as I'm recording this, uh, it's Monday of the week that The Walking Dead Season 8 comes back. Um, I'm super excited. Like, super excited. Um, it comes back on the 22nd, so we have, like, six days. So, I'm ecstatic. I can't wait to watch. Um, I'm gonna put up an episode for, uh, the 22nd, so you guys can watch that to get in the mood for The Walking Dead, and then, um, you know, yeah. Now, we're going to be entering Fontana. Okay, let's see. I think we did everything last time. We kept the, gre uh, we kept the grenades. Everything else which should be good. Okay. So, Fontana. Um, I think there is several things here to collect. Okay. So, we have several things that we can do. Uh, before we enter, let's... Um, we may want him to stay at the car just because he's our only survivor. So I think I'm going to keep him at the car because we don't really need a lot right now. So let's see. Inner location. Yeah, the place is lousy with eaters. Something's gotten bowed up. I'm horrified right now. Oh, yeah, okay, so we have to go this way anyways. Oh, don't, don't frame light here, okay. At least it's a little quieter. Say that. Oh crap. I'm stuck. Oh, there's the boxes. This time, please. There we go. <laughs> go night, night, zombie. <laughs> Yeah, Merle, where you at, dude? We found the squirrel. Okay, what is our goal now? Hold on. My entire goal was to get to the squirrel, so. Avoid the herd and get to the police station. Oh, wait. Optional, find a new vehicle. Find keys to a new vehicle. Okay. Okay, please. Oh, 
Oh, cool. We got some shotgun ammo, too. You'll do. Damn. Haha, -ha, I saw you, butt munch. Gonna scare me? No, you're not. Probably should you drink one of the Gatorades, but I got a crap ton of shotgun ammo. That will be well worth it later. I forgot how I got in here. Hold on. Since we're relatively safe, I'm going to drink one. Well, better already. Well, good. I try and use a hunting knife. I know I'm not using a lot of guns, but that's because they're super loud. I technically don't want to particularly use them. Because they are loud. Where did you come from? I just healed. Go away. Huh. It's like Left for Dead all over again. Keep pressing the wrong button. Not bad. Freaking close call. Oh man, I needed that. No lie. Hey, looky there. How to do that? If you do it just like that, they all despawn. Man, I'm good. Unless she died, then that would suck. Thanks. From both of us. You bit? Uh-uh. Gunshot. Some crazy asshole is sniping at us. And car alarms. I dragged Noah in here. They followed. Who's us? You two? Got a whole team out there. I did. We scavenged supplies for the local survivor camp. There's survivor camps? Um, yeah. The military supplies some of them with weapons, meds. There's a big one at Cherokee Hill Sawmill. We were doing pretty well until that psycho sniper showed up and brought a whole mob of fighters down on top of us. We got split up, pinned down, killed. I need to get my people together. One of my runners, Mia, is holed up in the theater across the street. Help her out and I'll make it worth your while. Trade you one of those. Lots of goodies in there, hillbilly. Just tell her scouts sent you. I'll think about it. 
Think about it, my butt, dude. We're gonna do it. That's locked. Wow, an actual, I didn't, oh, hey, there it is, okay. Alright, and then we got the collectible, which is great. Oh my god! Oh my god, that scared the sh- Piwadu on me. That was general being scared, oh my gosh. I was not expecting them to show up. <laughs> nah. It's not gonna deal with it. I got both collectibles. Bye! Hey, Mia! Oh, crap. <laughs> Okay, bye. Oh man, I died. I didn't even look at my health. Dang it. I wonder how much more of that I have to do. Like, redo. That's the only bad thing, is that they can really hoard up on you really easily. It's like, I would use a gun, but that would just attract more of them. God, I hope I don't have to redo all of that, because that would really suck. Mia. Oh, crap. Okay with this. This isn't bad. Because when there's a lot of them, this is probably easier to kill them like this. Okay, really quick. I need to. Not bad. And they don't. The great thing is, is they don't crawl. Um, which is great for us. I'm gonna execute these two guys. Well, luckily they're stupid. Okay, that's locked. Scout ahead. Mia? Oh. Nah, ain't much in it. Okay, those doors are checked. That door's locked. No, don't shoot me! Hey! Never mind. They locked. Mia, come back. Get away from me, you asshole. I ain't the asshole you're worried about. Who are you then? I'm a different one. <laughs> I'm a different one. See? Not me. The scout asked me to come look in on you. You know Scout? She sent you? 
Yeah, she's across the street, in that diner. Oh, thank God. I thought the shooter... Every time I put my head out, he's all over me. I lost all my gear, so I'm pretty much trapped. The theater's locked up tight since they started loading corpses in there. Exit's blocked, and there's a bunch of them. There's a half ladder down. Clear the way and I can get out and back to Scout. Let's do it. Gotta get over to the police station and my brother anyway. The police station? But that's where that killer is set up. Do you think your brother's even alive? I think my brother yeah, is the shooter. I can probably guarantee it. Nope. No more room. Oh no! I'm really in full? Oh crap a doodles. God, I'm gonna die, I know it. again okay it's time to use a double barrel sucks I hate using guns because they're so loud and I feel like they'll just attract way more no way I'm gonna go back up there and get that other ammo seriously there we go Okay. Wee. All right, I'm going to drink a Gatorade. That's all we got now. Maybe I should have made him go and get food, but I wanted more survivors first. Again. Ah, oh, crap. I wonder how much more I have to do. I hope I don't have to redo the theater because that would really suck.
It should be right after I move the debris. I'll report back to Scout that Mia is safe. Oh no, I do have to do it. Nope. Dad, mm -hmm. suck. I have to do it all over again. Okay, well, that sucks. I'm not gonna do it right now. Hold on, I'm gonna go return to Scout. Really quick. That shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I'm back. My friend's Fonz. Give me that bag. Ugh! You cheating, manipulative little bitch! Hillbilly. Noah got worse. Split from Memorial Hospital. Survivor can't need the supplies more than you do. Sorry. Pick whichever car you want. We came in three. I can only take one. Mia is worth moving around. The book is for her, but it wouldn't kill you to read it. Scout. That's sneaky. She's gonna get what's called. Now we have to go. Don't screw this up, Daryl. Ooh, I know they're coming. Gone. Ah, crap. Oh, come on. Oh, no way. We have an MRE. Better already. Whew. Man, this is getting stressful. Dixon! Hey, Merle! Dang it, De Daryl. I want them to come to me, because then I have the upper hand. I at least know where they're at. Oh my gosh, yes, MREs. For days. Come on. That's not helping, Daryl. Okay, just kill him now. Okay. Lame, but okay. Where's the king of the monsters? I don't know, but I'm scared something's gonna pop out at me because this game is like that. Reminds me of Fallout. These desks are a little big though. Aw, oh, man. Inventory's full. Well, oops. Alright, 
right, he's dead. Just in case. Come on, Merle. What are you hiding at? Nope. I'm scared. I'm I'm horrified that something's just gonna pop out at me. All full of oh no, I need a flare. What do I have? God, I don't want to drop really any of this. I feel like Merle's in here. Merle in his natural habitat. I was about to say, yeah. Merle, oh man, you crazy son of a bitch. Where did you get off to from here? Oh crap. Well, up we go. Huh, I wonder if Merle is a crazy shooter. My brother, the asshole psycho shooter. Yep. Definitely called it. Oh no! Need to get up, are we? No, no, no! You're never gonna take me back there. Oh, come on, Merle. It's me, Merle. What lower than impersonating a man's long lost baby brother? <laughs> You're just trying to gain false entry. That's what you're doing. Damn it, Merle. I'm just gonna leave you here. Keep your pants on, sweetheart. I like this place down pretty good. Them people locked me up for He's days really sunburned. With all them abominations. But looky who's just a little bit too smart for them. Bro, you're stir-fried from the sun the booze and whatever else you've been into. Uh, I do feel a little warm now that you mention it. I sprang myself, see? Established my little sniper's nest right here. Right, y'all. And then I commenced to send them soldiers a packing. I rang the alarm, calling in the abomination. Man, those aren't soldiers down there. Just some scavengers trying to help people out. They don't even know who you are. They're in uniform, ain't they? And they came to take me back to the hole. I'm not going anywhere but Jake's, and that's where you're gonna take me. Come on. Let's go, you ape. Guess I gotta lug your thick ass back across town. Man, you must be running over 106. My chair! Yeah, it'll be here when you come back. <laughs> My chair! Please don't make me protect Merle, because we will die. Oh, okay, we did it. Let's see. Uh, Mia Park joined the group. A small sedan found. And Jimmy stayed at the car. And we got both the squirrel and the poster. So, yay for us. Okay, so... Our current is... Um, but we don't have enough survivor seats for the with the off-road truck. But we can with the small sedan. I thought we had two to choose from. Mm hmm. Okay, we're gonna go with the small sedan uh, because it help. It, we can also have one more survivor. So I'm not gonna miss any. See, she's a flight nurse. Okay, so we're gonna proceed to the map. Okay, so we can either go to Cleburne. Or Oakview. So Oakview is time of day, night. The Cherokee Hills Lumber Mill outside Oakview establishes a secured camp receiving government aid. The camp offers medicine and shelter to survivors. That one wouldn't be bad. Or Cleburne, a government research group housed in Cleburne's Memorial Hospital and assured it military protection, keeping it operational long after other medical facilities fail. Okay, so 
one thing that I do know of in Cleburne, I've been to this one because this is where I stopped flying, was that in Cleburne there's a giant hospital and there's a herd that walks by you in the hospital and you have to be like super quiet and super sneaky and I fail. So we're actually going to go to Oakview this time and go to the lumber mill. Uh, just because I know what's kind of at Cleburne and I kind of want a fresh view of things and not to be very stressed out. So this is where we're going to go and we're going to take the streets. We're going to get there and then I'll probably end the video. So this game, it's like I'm getting fresh points. A lot of the stuff I don't remember. I thought there's a whole other thing about um, going into Cleburne or a whole other thing in the thing. Uh, a whole other thing when we find Merle. A uh, survivor can be heard being attacked by walkers. Oh, we're going to stop and help. Definitely. Okay, first. Um, probably keep those. I don't need that. And... That should be good. We can only pick up three things, so hopefully... Dude, there's a crap ton of crap here. But I know I can't, like, completely keep waiting to a point because this could be, like, a time thing and the, the survivor could die. Oh, bolts. Gotta pick those up. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Yeah, just a minute, dude. Okay, that's not working. Nope. Yeah, they're pissing me off. Go away. That means we get like a third survivor to come and join us. We need a lot of fuel. Thanks for the help, man. Thanks again. Those things are just came out of nowhere. Name's Ahmed. My group was hit by a walker attack while I was out collecting supplies. I'm all that's left. Let me come with you. Believe me, I will pull my weight. Okay. Yay, we have another survivor! So we have Jimmy Blake, we have Mia Park, and then we have Ahmed Farron. He's a civil engineer. He's stealthy, but he is weak. But that's okay. It's onward to Oakview. Merle. Man, I gotta tell you something. Something happened, bro. I got it. Full bore, flesh-eating apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah, but we were up at Jess's camp house when the, when the eaters came down on us. We never heard anything about them. They tore us up. Jess and me, we were the only ones to get out. 
Where's the old man? He was up at the camp house, too. He didn't make it, bro. He did? The old man's dead? You let the abominations get him? Did he turn into one? Did you let that happen, too? No, I... We gave him mercy. What'd he say? What'd he say? He said, uh... He said... Tell Merle I'm proud of him. Merle? <laughs> What'd he really say? Also, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. It's... it's I, this is right now, from now on, is a blind playthrough, and I have no idea what's going on, and I'm super excited to keep going. So, yeah. Alright, guys, and this is where I'm going to end the video. Man, that was a pretty good episode. We died a couple times, but hey, that's okay. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and comment down in the quarantine section. And for those that are just joining us, that is the comment section down below. What other games you guys want me to play that have a survival or apocalyptic aspect to it? And I will try my best to play them. And I will see you guys tomorrow.